Hi, this is Afnan. People have been asking me how I measure my aquaponic tank uh, pH. Normally I will use uh, the fluid tester. This is the most simplest, the cheapest, the easiest. And it will last a long time. This is already about four years old and still have a lot. Well, if you do not want to use this kind of sensor, uh, sorry, this kind of uh, tester, what you can do, you can get an electronic type that you can get easily from eBay. Accuracy of this will be depending on how you calibrate. And this is the tester that I got from eBay. It's around 12 to 15 US dollar, including postage. It's very cheap. Inside the box, you will have the electronic uh, pH, electronic pH tester, adjustment screw, adjustment screwdriver for calibration. When before you use this tester, you're supposed to calibrate. They give two packet of bubble solution uh, that you have to mix with water then it will be correspond to pH 4.0 or pH 6.86 at 25 degrees Celsius and uh, with this packet of uh, buffer solution you're supposed to do calibration of the electronic tester this tester is accurate to 0 0.1 pH value and it's capable of uh, measuring from 0, 0.0 to 14.0 pH value. Uh, it's relatively cheap, so the accuracy of this unit is, uh, is uh, I'm not that sure. I haven't calibrated this yet, but uh, what I will do, I just demonstrate how, that, how we use this tester. Right, let's put this box aside. You have a cover and there is a window with indicator that shows the value of pH. On top you will have the on off switch and the bottom part is a cover which cover the sensor. Okay, what we do is we'll open up the cover and take a glass of water. This is water from my aquaponic set and previously have checked the value is roughly around 7.2 now with this tester it's not been calibrated i will need to i will see how much is the value so first you switch it on then the window will indicate some value around 8 or 9 because there's nothing and uh, what you're supposed to do is to dip it in the solution or dip it in the water that you're going to test Leave it for a while. Get a good uh, sense of the water. Then lift up and check the reading. This is showing around 7.3. Do it again. Just take a few reading. It's showing 7.0. And uh, it's going up because there's air. Do it again. It's best to read the value while the probe is inside the water. Okay, when it's in, the value is around 6.8. The moment you lift it up, you will sense air and the pH value will start to increase. That's not a good way to indicate pH. So it's best to read it while it's inside the water. So it's around 6.9. That's the value is 6.9. There is no whole function that you can hold the value. So the moment you lift it up, it will show someone some of the value. So this is uh, quite good. It's showing uh, that you can see it. It's about 6.8. The value is around 6.8 pH. Then it will start to go up once you sense air or it's dry. Okay, that's about it. This is the simple and very 
low cost way of checking pH and uh, I still not that conf confident with this kind of sensor or tester because it's so cheap I will still double check it with the solution base and uh, but so far it's been doing a good job the value of uh, pH is uh, not much difference from what I get from the sensor this is uh, in terms of range it will be more accurate because compared to color chart is a very rough estimate okay thanks for watching bye